Hello, welcome back to Windows Sushi Lab Noding. In this episode, I will be demonstrating the process of using the Boolean cutter of geometry nodes together with sphere chokes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing it slower this time. So Blender 2.92 beta, you just install sphere chok add-on and you should be good to go. Um, sphere chok nodes. I delete everything in the scene and I start with nothing, but maybe just box because box is actually pretty versatile and yeah you got the default box and you st uh, you're able to start modeling very very quickly so let's save this very quickly as box cutter geometry so this is this is like a box cutter but geometry nodes so we have this thing and we have geometry nodes create new it's gonna generate modifier with geometry nodes. Now we start to do some cutting. Okay, so we can select all here, duplicate it. So we're gonna have bigger or smaller cube. Okay, and we can move things around over here using the matrix, or you can do it here. It's the same thing. Let's try actually doing it here. So boolean. So we have the original geometry, which is the alpha cube. And we want to intersect it or union or difference with beta. Okay. So the way I do it, simply by dragging and dropping here. And we are ready to do some cutting. So we see nothing. But it's actually already cutting. You can use the transform node over here, and now you you can cut. You can see it's doing a cut. However, if we are doing it um, if we are doing it over here, you probably cannot see uh, the result. I mean, we cannot see the cutter, so the cutter will still stay at the origin. So that's the downside. So maybe this thing, something that we can save for later. Okay, let's do the cutting actually over here. There. So this is our cutter. We can hide it here, but we can we can still see the object before we cut it. We can change the size, the scaling. We can move things around. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. For example, to start with, you can always change change the size here, change the scale. Things like that. So let's make another cutter. The next cutter is called Gamma. Select Alpha. So the next cutter, I will create something, something like that, similar. And perhaps I will just scale it in the y-axis. So here, so with this guy, we can make another cutter like that. Drag and drop gamma. Turn it off. Plug it just here. Okay. Now we we kind of already have some kind of objects. It's a bit like a like a bench. Imagine having it in real life and you already have a place for someone to sit down and if there's a rain, they're already good. Okay, so that's uh, basically the idea. You start with nothing and you continue adding things to design your object. Pretty simple, right? And then on top of that, you have offset. 
you have offset um, here like if you want to rotate it yeah look if you're doing it like this this kind of design the person can come in and then just using it as a slide see it funny it's pretty simple but a uh, interesting process I guess so this is um, yeah it is something made of box however you can do more you know like what if this is thing this thing is a cylinder so now you start with the cylinder <coughs> and with the cylinder is suddenly it's different thing you can change the height you can change the subdivision so you only start you start with a uh, only yeah you, you have three objects but suddenly you, your your brain start to think okay S start with very simple I'm gonna show you um, a little trick I, I think I will show you I have time simple thing so again box and line box is actually really cool because it it accept this matrix right so you can you can scale the box this is gonna be our third cutter we call it gamma and with this third cutter I want to scale this a little bit in the x axis actually actually in the y axis I want to make like uh, some kind of details I use matrix apply and this is using sphere chalk to basically make the cutter some kind of special cutter okay yeah it's like that <laughs> in the y-axis center to origin you can resize it so we have some kind of array okay you know this as an array this is how one way you can create array using spectral and this cutter is of course special you can do anything with it okay it's very simple but very powerful so now go back with our alpha object boolean connect this this geometry with offset you don't need the offset if you don't want to this guy is called delta oh yeah delta in delta is being highlighted yeah so we can hide delta we have our new cutter back to alpha cool I'm pretty happy with that I think so we don't need that kind of detailing but it looks nice and with our cylinder I think we can just rotate it rotate 90 degrees so we have some kind of some kind of bus uh, bus stop someone can walk in waiting for the bus to come yeah, it's uh, just an idea. You can create anything. You can test. You can really test Blender Boolean nodes of geometry nodes this way. And it, um, once you're happy with this, you can always create an array of this. The array in the in the y axis. With a constant, constant offset. Yeah, for example, something like this. So you can create a tunnel, whatever, and you can always go back. To the alpha. Oh, okay. We cannot actually. Actually, if we select, if we select geometry nodes. Okay, this is I think one limitation. Once you you have 
another modifier you cannot go back to this guy so for now don't worry about the array stick with this guy a little bit more you can make changes play around with this um, yeah, different scale offset it in X occasionally you will find an interesting design that, that suits you for example I have this thing this was created only with four different colors I'm gonna show you the process So this is, this is how we can view in the future it's gonna be easier so I start with this object and I made a cut <clears throat> nice hard edge there make another cut okay you got the idea another cut which is array and finally the cut makes this kind of like a bus stop again now it's up to you, you have a lot of possibilities here with the color and everything you can play around you might actually come up with a different design sometimes it's, it's a it looks like nothing that you started with right, this, uh, this kind of color it's for it's just for your brain to understand this boolean really really well so if, if I started with something like this again cylinder this one's still connected to the alpha so you can always connect an, a different thing like this cylinder suddenly you are creating a helmet some kind of helmet really because if you can put your face there, maybe you make another boolean cut. But uh, it's really quite interesting. Right, some kind of helmet. Same deal. So four cutters, simple objects, and you get something like this. Okay, so what can you create? You can show me in uh, in the comments below. Um, if you understand the process, stretch up nodes, geometry nodes in Blender 2.92, you can basically create anything. All right, so thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.